This is the plaintiff, Cheyenne. She says one of the defendant's three big, vicious pit bulls attacked her Labrador mix mustard and injured her real bad. The vets worked on her for days. She ultimately had to be put down. And this son of a gun defendant now owes her $5,000 in vet bills and pain and suffering because mustard still had a lot of life in her. And the defendant cut all that short. This is the defendant, James Antoinette. He says the plaintiff's dog and his dog started barking at each other, and they got into a scuffle. Both dogs were fine afterwards, and the woman left, and that was it. A month later, she informs him her dog died, and she wants $3,000 in vet bills? Huh? He feels bad the woman lost her dog. But this was a mutual thing, and he doesn't owe her any money. He's accused of taking mustard away. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Let against have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Cheyenne, you've asked us not to mention your last name. You're suing Mr. Antonetti because one of his dogs attacked your dog in the dog park. Is that right? Two of his dogs attacked one of my dogs. Okay, my dog. tell me what happened. It's September 14, 2019. I was going to the dog park as I always do in the evening. I took off the leash. His dogs was like in the front. He was walking over from talking to one of the witnesses that I have. He was coming over from talking to him. And he came to me. He said, my dogs is fine. Don't worry about it. They just, you know, they okay. So I said, okay, you sure I, I could come in? He said, yes. I then opened up the second gate and one of his dogs immediately Immediate attack my dog, my stick. Like immediate, like it was no smelling of the butt, no looking at the ears, no, you know, nothing. It was immediate attack. All right, what kind of dog was his dog? He had three, it was three pit bulls that was his dogs. The you defendant dog. You had dogs. three pit bulls there? No, they, well, what one's kind of an dogs staff it? terrier. The other two are rescues that I don't know what they Can I see a picture are. of your dogs? You could see many pictures of my dogs. Yeah, I think we're pretty clear that they're pit bulls. All right, now they, they, pit bulls have a right to exist. Right. Pit bulls aren't the problem. Owners are the problem. Yeah, absolutely right. right. So let me ask you a question. <sighs> I don't mean, I would, I would never walk into a park with three pit bulls barking at me. If he would have never told me it was okay I know, to I wouldn't ahead. listen to the, hey, How long did you know him before he told I never saw him exactly, in Exactly. I know. Like, but in any event. So you walk in. One of them or two of them pounce on your dog and what happens? What do you see them doing? One of his dogs is shaking on my dog like this, like really shaking Where? on the back, like right here. She was just shaking and he he had to, he had to take the dog, unlock the lock from the dog to release her. Cause I had my dog. And he I, had to do what? He had to like, you know how a pit bull they grab and they shake yeah. like that? He had to release the lock. By doing what? Sticking his hands he in? He had to open his his hand his arm okay. with the, his fingers, and he unreleased it. And then I, 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 the whole time I'm screaming out, Mr. Get Your Dog, Mr. Get Your Dogs. He he had three dogs. One dog didn't really do nothing, but the other two did, which I think they named was Mia and Bo. That's what he told me. You think me. what? The, the dog name was Mia and Bo. So okay. then he I picked my sit up. Then he had Mia by, Mia came out the ch neck choker. And when he, she came out the neck choker, he, she came and she came back to tack mustard again. And by then I had mustard in the ear. Now, Your Honor, I am 6'3". Okay. Having my dog in the ear like this, that dog had to do a real big jump. You and know what I'm saying? Are you laughing? No, I just, it's Yeah, no, I, I mean, you'll I'm have sorry, a chance to I'm speak, sorry. but that's I know, pretty insensitive. I know, I know. When I his dog I'm jumped sorry. high up, did it end up getting or missing? It bit her. Where? On the leg. That's how okay. she got the mark on the, her leg. That's how she, the blood started happening. So then he grabbed his dog. Um, one of the witness named, I could say his name, John, he um he came and grabbed one of his dogs and they went back in. So the whole time he's saying, Miss, Miss, I could leave the park, don't worry. I said, he said, are you okay? I said, I don't know if I'm okay. But then my dog have her tail between her leg and she's shaking. My, on, your Honor, my dog was 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like I, I had to worry about how my dog was doing. Cause my of dog course. Went so did you take her dog to the emergency I vet? I sure did. So I put okay. my dog in the car because she was shaking up. And as I put her in the car, the defender came out with his dog, put his dog back into the car. And he, he did come over there and ask me how I'm doing. I'm still saying, sir, I don't know. Sir, I don't know. Did you get his name and number? I didn't get anything. My dog was so shaken up, Your Honor. It was to the point where it, I couldn't do anything but just concentrate on her. All right. So you take the dog to the emergency vet and what happens? They, um, I have pictures. It was a lot of blood glistening out. Can I see the pictures? Sure. These are the pictures of the car. I have a video while she's in the vet. 
Okay. This is her after thing. That's the video. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Of her crying. No, but a sita. They had to wrap it up and kind of put pressure on it to stop the bleeding. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's how on the next day I had to take her back to the doctor. She kind of still shaking up. She kind of really not responding well at all. This must have been so hard for you. Aesthetical. This is my emotional support dog, Your Honor. I am hurt. I don't have kids. These are my babies. She ended up passing away, correct? Yes. When did she pass away? She passed away September 27th, Friday. Which was 13 days after this happened. Correct. And these are pictures of the blood in your car, I guess, after you'd taken her to the vet. Yes. Okay, give me anything that you have that a doctor said, not just the money. Okay, Mr. Antonetti, tell me what happened. Basically, it's very similar to what she said, except she held back, okay? And the dogs were just barking at each other. She wouldn't let the dog enter the park. And my dog did go by her dog, and it was a dog fight, okay? Her dog is not 100% innocent, Really? What did her dog do? Her dog was barking just at the same amount of barking that my dog was doing. That's what they her dog both, is guilty of, barking? Well, that's what my dog was guilty of until her dog and my dog went at it. Okay. Who went at who? <sighs> Who's to say? They were barking I'm at I'm to each say. Other. Okay. But I, it right. sounds like you had said several times to her at, at points throughout. In fact, you didn't mention this, but you did mention in your complaint that he had been very nice at the beginning yes, and I had talked be about offering to pay for vet yes, bills. Yes. Okay. It's right. when he saw the size of the vet bill that he changed. So if her dog bit your dog, why would you offer to pay for the vet bills? Okay. I felt very horrible for this poor lady losing a dog. But then as I, I realized what went on, she went to this vet in the area. That's a complete ripoff. When you have three pit bulls at a, at a park and two of them attack a dog, you don't really get to shop around for prices. That's not no, I something that happens. I understand that, that. I understand that. Okay. Was this the first time these dogs had had a problem at that park? I've been going there for almost two and a half years. With any you got something from the um, the town home village. The that's town, saying the that village. This, a village told you your dogs aren't welcome back because this wasn't the first time your dogs no, were a problem. No, that's a total lie. That's a total but lie. But that is what the village said, right? The village just said that it was suspended. Uh, entry to the park would be suspended until I got uh, some type of dog. Uh, I don't know what it said. Can uh, you show me what the village sent no, you? No, I, I don't. Well, have she's going to show me what yeah, the village sent yeah. you. Come on. There was never another incident with another dog. And I quote, this is to advise you that we have been receiving complaints, plural, here at Village Hall oh, pertaining to your aggressive dogs and their recent attacks upon other dogs that frequent the park. The most recent incident happened on September 14th. That means there's incidents before September 14th, which involved one of your three dogs named Mia. And the end result is that dog died at the vet. We have no choice but to rescind both your key fobs for the dog part until further notice. Who, who Th that's what the letter you received said, right? Yeah, but who filed the complaint? I uh, don't know, but it's a I. lie that they didn't tell you that they've gotten other complaints about your dog being aggressive. Mm -hmm. You know that this is the letter. There's no other letter they sent you. No. Right. You just didn't bring this letter, but she did. She got a hold of it. Okay, so in the emergency room, they told you that if the bleeding doesn't stop, it's going to be a real problem. Correct. And uh, you ended up taking, they had recommended that you leave the dog overnight. You didn't want to do that. Right. Because you didn't want to run up bills, I guess. You took the dog home with you. Exactly. And what happened? I took the dog home. The next day, I took her to her regular vet. The right. regular vet that she'd been going to since. I had okay, my well, did the bleeding stop is my question. Yes, the, the bleeding did stop the okay. overnight. So that wasn't, the bleeding stopped. Did you ever go back to the emergency room? Mm, no. So I have read the letter from the vet. Okay. And your dog was in renal failure. Your dog had a kidney condition, mm -hmm. right? That was maintained. That was maintained. Maintained. It was perfectly fine. I guess. Well, I mean, let, look, look at me in the eye. Your mm -hmm. dog was 13 years old with a renal condition. Okay. I don't know what maintained you were hoping maintained would mean, but how long do you think it would be maintained? So. The question is, was her death caused by a bite? That's the first question. Right. So we need to discuss the bills in order. Do you have the bills? I, I know you handed me the, the September 16th. 16th from your regular vet and the ER visit. I have both of those. So what is your defense? Um, well, he reads contracts. Who's, he? Who's he? my son-in-law. Okay. 
I just looked at the bills and just as, as you stated, as far as the kidney disease, like you said, we didn't know. Um, there had to be something underlining issue that something was going on. This is Did where you ever he, talk to the vet? We tried to call the vet. They will not release any information to us. Our main concern is there had to be underlining issues here. Well, there are, there's underlying issues, but here's the thing. You're a lawyer? No, not at all. Oh, okay. I'm well, there's a, uh, a premise in the law. You take your plaintiff as you find him. It's called the eggshell plaintiff rule. Okay? So what the concept is, is tough on you if you have somebody particular susceptible to broken bones. You go, oh, that person was arthritic. They had a, an underlying, they didn't take enough calcium when they were a kid. You know, it's kind of what you got. So the question is how much, if any, of this care is not, is not did not occur would have occurred anyway if there wasn't a dog bite. What can you point to in these bills that would have occurred anyway if there hadn't been a dog bite? This is what the dog was critically seeing this, this dog for right now. Go ahead. Well, if you're looking at the day before the dog was euthanized, gives him pills for 30 days. So he didn't expect this. So either after maybe the doctor spoke to her about, hey, the, the life expectancy may not be good with the kidneys. And because she put the dog down, euthanized and then cremated the dog here, we What's the I'm fluid therapy? You know what? We're going to take a recess. You know, as much emotion as is charged in this, this is almost a mathematical question. I need to figure out just how much of that would have happened anyway and as part of renal treatment and how much of that was exacerbated by a bite. That, that is precisely what I need to get to the bottom of. So uh, court is in recess. Sit down, please. All court right. Court is in recess. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Would you walk into a park if you saw three pit bulls running loose off leash? No, I definitely would not. Because? I think it's dangerous. Pit bulls are dangerous on leash. That's the question. Are pit bulls inherently dangerous more so than other dogs? Yes. Why do you say? Because they're scarier. Well, I mean, a dog can be uh, look scarier, but they can be docile, right? Perhaps. What do you say? Uh, I think it's fine. I would go up to the dogs. You would go up to a random dog without a leash. No, I mean, I think there's nice. Pit Hold on. Hey, can we bring? Hey, can we bring this dog over real quick? Because this is the cutest dog I've ever. Oh my God! Look at this dog. Would you? Would you pat that dog? Yeah, and uh, me too. Can I pat him? He's so. He's so cute. This is the best looking dog. Oh my God! What a cool. Oh, what kind of dog? He's a standard schnauzer. Oh my God! Oh my God! Going inside the guardroom. Hey folks, um, I had a little chit chat with the vet. He's very clear that all of this was a result of having to treat a dog who was already with kidney issues, getting bit, and then getting an infection, then the antibiotics that were interfering, that one treatment kind of interfered with the other and hastened the death. Um, I understand that from your perspective, all your dog did was bite the leg and attack back here, and it didn't cause stitches, et cetera, et cetera. So the question is not whether you expected the bill to be so high. The question is, is what she spent reasonable? Or should she have said, ah, dog's had a good life, 13 years, I'm going to put it to sleep and not spent a penny. No, you wouldn't do that. So why would you expect anybody else to do that? Um, when you take three rescue dogs, which means you didn't raise them, who are clearly three pit bulls, to a communal park, things can happen, particularly apparently something had happened before this. Otherwise, we wouldn't even be talking about liability, okay? I uh, am going to find in your favor, you don't get pain and suffering. Pain and suffering doesn't occur in these types of cases. Uh, well, it, it occurs, it's not compensable. But I am gonna order him to pay $3,147 in the vet bills to you. And I am very sorry that this happened. Thank okay, you so good much. luck, folks. So the defendant will have to pay the vet bills. It's not 5000 but it's over 3000 yeah. What are you thinking? Well, you know what? Things happen, and uh, I just wish that it would have went a different way. Um, you know, the dog was sick, and my dog's never got another complaint uh, at well, the park. Well, apparently they have. Well, apparently nobody ever notified me. And it just, I felt it could have went a little differently. But right. you know what? The sad part is that she did lose her dog, and I feel horrible about that. And my dogs are not pit bulls, per se. Okay, one's a Nash Staff Terrier, and the other one's a listed. They look like it. They, they look, look like, like it, but yeah. they're mixed breed okay. terriers. Right. That's what they are. Right. I just want to get that across because, you know what? They got a bad rep, and they're the most loving, good dogs. And, you know, the, the fact that my dog you got, got a, You got your point out. Okay. My dog got cut, too, in this okay. whole Walter Ray, but that never, I never had a chance to say that, so I think she was a little well, unfair about that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you very much. Bye -bye. Okay.
All right, Cheyenne, you really did kind of work out the best in there. I know you're very upset. Everybody would be upset. Any dog owner would be upset. But you got the most of what you could get in, right. the, in, the, in the law by the law. You understand you're that? Right. My nephew would like to say something. Um, I mean, you know, mustard was, um, you know, very close to our hearts, you know, and like we can't replace the life, but at least we got, you know, justice in the court. Um, you did. You got justice in the court. That's what you came here for. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. All right. You know, uh, Doug, the judge had mentioned eggshell skull. And what that means is you take the plaintiff as you find him. It's a little different here. But what, the, what, what it means is that if you inflict an injury on somebody um, and that somebody has a peculiar injury or predisposition for a more serious injury than usual, tough luck for you if you cross the line and hurt them.